So guys, we have been in a public uh, vehicle on Matans for a public taxi and you know, the only person that don't know where you're going. Well, that was me today. you can see to go to Nalia but anyway this is how the bus park looks it's so packed with taxis and the good thing about here that I've loved about here in Kampala is that it doesn't take you so long to wait for a public trial you know public vehicle for you to go where you're going so it gets to save you time when you're not waiting for you know the taxis for so long but then again you get to waste a little bit or a few minutes on the traffic but it's quite convenient hey. uh -huh. So here I guess is where you get to pick matatus that go to all the places.
from town you are first to use two matatus that is two taxis unless you're using an uber but if you're using tra public transport you first to use two so we go to this area it's called mtinda then i'm going to find a matatu to go to nalia so guys, we have been in a public vehicle for a matatu or a public taxi and you know the only person that don't know where you're going as well, that was me today. So I booked this uh, matatu from town. I'm supposed to go to a place called Nai, Nalia. It's still in Kampala, yes? That is where I got the Airbnb. So that's, they don't have direct matatu going to Nalia. So you have to um, you have to both two matatus or the taxi, whichever way you call them back at home, these are the public transport. So I bought a one that taxi that promised me that where they are going to drop me off or go to get, uh, you know, to board another matatu that's going to take me directly to where I'm going. First of all, the driver was very rude. Secondly, if you don't know the prices here and you ask them the price, they are going to rip you off. And the bad part of it is that you're getting picked off as people they can see and they are like kind of smiling, kind of, you know, looking at you as a stupid person. It's not because it's your stupid, it's because you don't know the price and this is a new country. It's your first time. You don't know how it works. You don't know how the public matter to work. Like, if you see someone visiting your country and they are getting ripped off, like, just tell them. I asked one woman and she was like, she never replied. She never talked back to me. She was just like, she didn't want to talk. I don't know who it was because they are told never to talk and this was a public matter you know? so the guy dropped me off and then I'm asking him where do I pick the matter to go to Nadia I don't know oh my god he was so rude I felt very bad anyway it's just one bad thing uh, during the whole day. Otherwise, all the other parts of my day has been great here in Kampala. I still appreciate it. That conductor who was trying to make you know to ruin my day. He did do it. Anyway, now I know. At least now I've found, finally I've found a matatu that's going to take me direct to Nalia. And get home and relax. It's quite hot here in Kampala. I don't know if it's always like this or it's only this time of the year. Someone tell us on the comment section if it's always like this. Maybe
Hello guys, I've just got home. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you watched me and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share my videos. Stay tuned. Uh, keep it locked uh, for the next episode of Kampala, the part of Africa. See you guys.